know if this is gonna be a vlog or like a bit added on. We'll just see. Hey, Karen here. So I have had the busiest day ever. Really, it was just mostly trying to clean up because I'm hosting Thanksgiving this year and my whole house is a mess and I've been rearranging furniture, like doing a deep clean, throwing away clothes I don't want, um, you know, just getting rid of things that I no longer need. And I know all of that is not required <laughs> just because the holidays are here and people are coming over, but we're just gonna eventually do it in the new year. So I'm just trying to get my ducks in a row. Um, I have on this fuzzy, hooded sweater thing my mom got me for Christmas a few years ago because I'm wearing a bra and sweatpants right now because I just bathe the dogs and I actually have a giant water stain right here and Cece's oh Cece she looks so pretty she's sitting on the couch staring at me because I'm talking but earlier between cleaning I ended up going to Target because I needed ice cream for Thanksgiving because I'm making a peach cobbler but I ended up buying a bunch of other stuff I think there's a dog coming. I ended up buying a bunch of other stuff because we go on vacation next week and I don't know, I just wanted some some more cute things. Also, because we're in the middle of the holidays and just for photos and fun stuff, I wanted to get some Christmassy things. I just bathed all the dogs. Max is right here by my camera. I don't know if it's picking up. <laughs> you cannot do all of this, Max. Look at him. He's like rolling around trying to dry off. They will not let me blow dry them. Anyway, I just wanted to show a few things that I picked up from Target today. I didn't get a lot, a lot, but just some things I wanted to share. Um, actually, I'll just go ahead and show you everything. Like it's not all fun, but I didn't get that much. Can't think of the probiotic that I use, but they're by the same brand and I get them at Whole Foods. Um, you can usually find them at vitamin stores. I, I never find them at Target or just any like regular, I guess, pharmacy or, you know, store, grocery store. Um, but because we are going out of town and we'll be in a hotel, I mean, the hotel might have a mini fridge, but I just don't want my, my probiotic to be unrefrigerated for the hours it's going to take to get to where we're going. So I just picked up a second um immune support prebiotic and it has zinc vitamin d and a prebiotic in it and it's nothing special vitafusion um i use this on and off with my higher end prebiotics i mean probiotic and um daily vitamins but this is just gonna i'm just getting this to pair with my vitamin <laughs> is what i'm trying to get it what is a prebiotic, by the way? I did not pay attention to that. I have a prebiotic um, body wash. I don't know what that means though, honestly. But I saw immunity and with COVID and everything, I wear masks, yes, I'm vaccinated, but still just constantly building the immune system. And I like that this has a, a large percentage of zinc in it because I cannot take zinc pills. They make me really sick. And my doctor was telling me to take zinc just to stay, you know, on my immunity game during the pandemic. I also got this Shea Moisture Power Greens. I ended up getting one of their shampoos the other day. I can't think of the name of it, but it's like a liquid shampoo. And that reminded me of this, so I wanted to get this because anytime I use this on my hair, my hair is just like, I don't know, it just gives it such slip and definition. And I don't really know what I use this for. Like, it's a it's a hair rinse, but I just don't know. I just use this randomly. I don't know how to properly use it. Um, okay, so this is the step between shampooing and conditioning your hair. But I honestly will just use this in my hair sometimes and then rinse it out and go on about my, my day, like my normal routine. Like, once I'm out of the shower, I moisturize my hair and everything. It's just kind of like a... A refresher almost so yeah I feel like using this between your shampoo and conditioner like shampooing your hair using this and then conditioning is kind of a waste but I guess it depends on the type of hair you have but honestly so that's good by itself I also 
picked up this lip mask. I didn't even mean to buy this. I had it in my hand when I saw somebody that I knew at the store and I ended up just running my mouth and then throwing this into the buggy, not paying attention. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it won't hurt to try it out. At least I hope it won't hurt. It is a collagen booster, a vegan collagen booster. Does that even like, is that even a thing? Collagen boosting. Um, yeah, it says mulberries, wild cherries, and hyaluronic acid. And it's, yeah, a vegan collagen booster. And I mean, we'll see. It says it's to plump and repair. So we'll see if it can plump and repair. Is this for dry lips? Repair what? And then I also got these earrings. I love Sugar Fix. I have so many Sugar Fix earrings. I already have some Christmas tree earrings by Sugar Fix, but I cannot find them. And I know one broke like two years ago. Excuse my cuticles. I am dry over here. Uh, and then I just bathed the dogs, and so it just destroyed my hands. Um, but these are so cute. I was caught in between these and some, um, they're, what are they called? They're like middens, and they're pink and blue and silver and white, and they're just so pretty. I wanted both, but I don't know, $30 on um, seasonal earrings just seemed like a bit much to me. So I just didn't get them because I already have so many Christmas earrings and yeah. And I bought like so many, so many think not Thanksgiving, Halloween earrings from Sugar Fix. And I keep saying Bobble Bar. I knew that was the same company, but yeah. Um, I bought so many Halloween earrings and I, you know, working from home, I mean, all you get out of your wear really is, um, I mean, when you're wearing it for yourself, and when you're taking photos, which is great, but still, I don't know. I didn't go to any Halloween things because I'm just not going to things unnecessarily. Uh, that's Alex's deodorant. And then I got these earrings, which I thought were kind of overpriced. They're 20 bucks, but for just studs from Target, I thought, why? But I got them because I have been really needing studs. What I need to do is get some Get like a I don't know some type of earring holder to put studs because I lose my studs like nobody's business I'm always searching for them or one will just slide off the nightstand or fall out of my ear or I'll put it to the side in the shower and then I never see it again um, this kind of makes me want to have like three holes <laughs> in my ear um, so I can just wear so many earrings I have two piercings in my ear so yeah we'll just roll with that and then I got this because it was five dollars it's just a like a organizer like where you keep your toiletries your brushes your makeup charters da 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 and it comes in a pack of two like a mini one and then a bigger one so like you can keep like your brushes in here your mascaras just stick things I guess and then this can be your bulkier makeup or whatever you're doing um, it was five dollars it was on sale so I just grabbed it because you can never have too many of these and the ones I have right now I just don't feel like cleaning them out I think these were just sleeker looking and it's like that olive green and the ones I have now I bought a few years ago it's so funny reflecting your taste from like age 23 to 28 and how big of a difference it is and like I feel like I'm actually coming into my adult taste and it's just funny to look back on it I bought this I have like three of these just in random places because this stuff smells so good it just feels like magic when I'm wearing it like it's so calming it's the Aveeno lavender um calm calming I'm, I'm not even reading the name of it I'm just assuming <laughs> okay Aveeno stress relief moisturizing lotion okay yeah it says calms and relaxes lavender scented and this stuff it smells like like how baby oil and baby lotion smells but like 
but there's something extra there. I don't know how to explain it. And then I got these scrunchies. They are holiday vibes. I like this one a lot just because it's like I can wear this Christmas and New Year's Eve. Well, actually, I can wear all of them Christmas and New Year's Eve. Um, but that one's just very sparkly. And then this one is green all around with little pearls. That's my favorite one. And then I bought this one because I don't have any pajamas in this print in this color. But the dogs do. And instead of buying myself some matching pajamas to that, I'm just going to wear my regular pajamas. Um, they're green, but like this. Or I might just have on like, I don't know, a gray romper. I don't know, something. I'm just thinking of like photos because I love matching pajama photos. And yeah, I'm just going to wear this when the dogs are wearing their pajamas. And yay. I got some of this Jamaican black castor oil um, in this bottle. Really, I was just buying the bottle because I have plenty of castor oil at home. But... You know, you can never have too much castor oil. Honestly, I use castor oil everywhere. How many times have I said castor oil? But I use it like head to toe, truly. This even says head to toe, but yes, it's great on your eyebrows and eyelashes if you aren't doing that. Um, yeah, I really got it for this because I threw away the, I kept this, like the bottle like this. I think I had um, jojoba oil and then I just got tired of looking at it. And I threw it away and I should have kept it because I love these little nozzles when I have braids in because when I have braids in I really need access to my scalp and this is it so I got some rubber bands because like I just said I'm about to braid my hair next week I bought some rubber bands when I bought the braiding hair I got braiding hair from I think Sam's Beauty I think so and it's 52 inches. I'm so excited. I'm not excited to braid my hair, but I'm excited to see how it turns out because I'm really going to take my time. I'm giving myself two whole days to braid my hair uninterrupted. So I have all the time in the world. And I bought some rubber bands, but they only came in packs of 100. And I usually, when I do small box braids, I end up with like 99 braids on my head. And I didn't want to chance any popping. So I just got, and then I didn't have a replacement. So I just got some backups. I do not braid my hair with a rubber band in, not typically, unless they're like jumbo braids, like jumbo like Havana twists. But I just, I like pre-parting my hair. Like I like to spend a few hours parting my hair on a whole different day. And then the day I'm actually braiding my hair, I take my time and neatly braid each braid. And it just works better for me that way. Anytime I don't pre-part my hair, it comes out wonky. And then I saw these really um, cool elastics that are made just for fine hair, which I thought was cool. I mean, I guess they're, they're thinner, so it's like for fine hair because, you know, usually scrunchies are a lot thicker than this. And so I just got excited because I have fine hair. So when I pull it back into a ponytail, it's just kind of weird. <laughs> when the elastic band is kind of taking over my hair and so this was cool to uh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. i also got it for braiding um when i have braids and a um ponytail i really hope these stretch a lot they seem to without being tight i like to put my hair in a ponytail but i do not like the elastic to be super obvious and i love i know a lot of people wrap the braid around their ponytail but i just I don't do all that. I don't, I like that look, but not all the time. Sometimes I want it to just look like, yeah, I just put my hair in a bun. And you see the elastic, but the elastic is not super obvious. Is that too particular? Maybe, but that's how I feel. And then I got a refill of the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Filler. This is my absolute favorite. I am obsessed. You use this with the gel. They have like a, I guess a brow gel. And so that comb, you comb your eyebrows into place with that and then you use this to fill it in. And it is my absolute favorite. I love, whenever I need to do my eyebrows, it's always NYX products because they work well. They used to be a lot cheaper than they are now. Like that was $11. And back in the day, NYX was like the same price range as ELF and Wet n Wild, but they're more popular now so the price has gone up 
And like I said, we're traveling, so I got some travel size facial cleanser. Um, it's the Burt's Bees, and it's for sensitive skin. This does nothing for my skin at all, so that's why I got it, because usually when I'm traveling, especially to the city we're going, I always break out. And so I just didn't want anything else contributing to whatever's gonna happen to my skin. So yeah, and I did I have um those refillable, reusable um travel bottles, but I just didn't I don't like packing my face wash into one of those. I don't know why. I just I like face wash coming directly from the original tube. Maybe it's because my skin is so sensitive. And then all of my other things like my moisturizer, my toner, and my um you know acne treatments are already in travel size containers like they come in small containers so yeah I don't mind putting toothpaste or mouthwash into a reusable travel bottle but not things that touch my skin directly because I have a really sensitive skin and yeah I need to refill my foundation actually before we go but I might just get some drugstore foundation because I will be wearing a mask most of the time anyway. So yeah, and then I got two purses because I've been carrying the same, um, I think it's not West or I don't know what it is. It's something that I know is leather, but I've had it since I was probably 18. I've had it for a decade. So, I mean, I'm not gonna throw it out. I'm not the type of person, like cruelty free person who um, throws things out just because they're made of animal <laughs> because I mean what's the point I feel like that's that animal having died in vain honestly like so I keep it and I think it's wasteful to get rid of something just because I don't know I get why some people do it but I also understand keeping this stuff but it's an old leather purse and it's my favorite I take it and wear it everywhere I'm going but I just wanted something newer um, but I wasn't going to go out and buy like an expensive, like high end, um, purse just for the sake of a trip. But I just wanted something cute because I am meeting people, um, that I know. And I just wanted, you know, you, you want to look a little fresher because my purse is old and beat up, but it's my go-to. I love it. Um, and so yeah, I got this. Alex says it looks cheap. I think it does as well, but it is so cute. I think it's cute. Um, and you can wear it like this and tuck this in. So can I hide this? So like you can wear it like this or it could be a cross body purse and it's faux snake faux alligator. And yeah, there's a lot of room inside. Really all I need is space for my wallet and um, phone. So I got this one and then I got this one because I just really like the color and I couldn't put it down. Like, I don't, it just, it feels like it would go with literally, like it goes with my color scheme. Like all the things I wear, this is just so pretty and I think it complements my skin tone. And I think this color complements everybody's skin tone though. It's that, it's that like peach mauve. Oh my gosh, it says peach. It's like, it says dark peach. And it's crossbody too because I can't have one of those shoulder purses or a handheld purse because I will lose it. I've done it before. I've walked away from my purse. I left my purse in a buggy at Walmart once. I was putting the buggy away outside and then I walked to my car, got in my car, immediately realized I didn't have my purse, got out. Like though I can see the buggies out of my rearview mirror. Like that's how close I was to the buggy. Like it was like right across the street. Somebody had taken it just that fast. Like somebody was watching me is what it feels like. And so yeah, since then I don't trust myself to hold a purse. So like I don't put my purse in the buggies anymore. It has to be on my body at all times. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's all I got from the store. Actually, that's quite a bit, but I didn't buy anything unnecessarily. So yeah. Uh, yep, that's what I got from Target today. Mm -hmm.